First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Well, we start you off with a live look outside toward the Catalinas, and boy, that wind is certainly starting to pick up. It's been fairly breezy to gusty just about all day, and we're seeing the sky cam bouncing around with the palm trees swaying in the wind. And the wind now at Tucson's airport from the southeast at 13 miles per hour. Our air temperature at 95 degrees, but we're feeling some stronger gusts here just to our north and east. 18 mile per hour gusts right now in Wilcox, 19 in Oracle, 23 Douglas. And hops keeping a jump up by 10 Casa Grande with 22 mile per hour gusts. Now, there's a good reason that the wind is picking up to our north and east. That's the direction from which the storm system is moving in, kind of wrapping around, if you will, southern Arizona. That center of circulation right now just straddling the international border here. We haven't seen a whole lot of rain coming out of this system just yet for us, although it is the one responsible for our ramp up in the monsoon earlier this week. And it does look as though there's more moisture hanging out over New Mexico. Mexico and northern Mexico that is getting set to move in. In fact, on our water vapor imagery, the bright green here, that's showing us air that's really humid, a lot more water vapor concentration, and it's super sticky, and we're getting set to have more of this kind of wrapping through southern Arizona here over the next 72 hours. So whereas our concern for any thunderstorms that do develop today is strong gusting winds, maybe damaging winds because we've dried out a bit, the threat was not necessarily there for heavy rain and flash flooding, whereas tomorrow that threat does return and it's going to stick around through our weekend. As this area of low pressure tracks off to the west southwest, that will churn up a lot of moisture here across the eastern corner of the state, spreading up into the Four Corners region. And so the threat will return tomorrow for heavy rainfall. We have to watch again for that flash flooding. Our best chance for rain today in Tucson is going to come late after nine o'clock and before midnight. Could start the day with some cloudy conditions, a little cooler start to the day. Might be uh, a nice break there and then a 40% chance for storms by the afternoon as those clouds kind of burn off. We get some of the sun moving back in and that sets the stage for thunderstorms to develop once again. But if you don't pick up any of that rain here overnight, we are expecting a big ramp up in our monsoon this weekend. So make sure you have the umbrella handy. 40% chance for those storms tomorrow afternoon. The same for Saturday. Saturday night, by the way, our chance for rain actually goes up to 50%. Sunday, 30% chance for showers and with this increase in moisture, our temps drop back down to the low 90s. I know some of you, you've had more rain than you would like. Others continue to say, Aaron, send the rain our way. National Weather Service just came out with this estimated rainfall totals map for this point of the monsoon. So we're we're really only about a month into it. And you can see most of Cochise County has had some pretty healthy rainfall totals, anywhere from four inches to six inches worth of rain. In some cases, even more than that, like in Douglas. And then the city of Tucson, about two inches worth so far. You follow that up the interstate to the northwest side of town, maybe just a few hundredths of an inch to a few you tenths of an inch of rain. And I've heard a lot from you folks on the northwest side saying, Aaron, push some more rain our way. So it's typical here. Monsoon is feast or famine, it seems. But we do have some very solid chances for rain over the next three days. 40% tomorrow, 40% Saturday, 30% on Sunday. So do make sure you have the umbrella, maybe even those rain boots handy. And temperature staying below normal through the middle of next work week. KGA 9 on your side at 6 o'clock. We'll be right back with sports.